well i've made over 30 videos so far and if you go through the comment section of any of these videos one word that you'd see the most 528 is editing some say that they have never seen this type of editing before some say that they have been tired of placing my editing pulgar well very few say that i owe do it sas pulgar but keeping the general opinion aside pulgar. let me answer the most asked question on this channel ever how muchos sueñan con vestirse de armani o disparar como kim so this is not a tutorial on how to edit videos instead this is my way of editing videos the things that i consider the checklist that i follow a few sources from where i learned and a few resources that i use while editing videos first things first i edit on premiere pro it's been 5 months since i started using premiere pro and before that i was using a completely free software called shortcut i've also used apps like kinemaster vita in short in the beginning when i was not on youtube and with my personal experience i can confidently say that no matter what software you use the concepts and techniques of video editing remain the same but what makes the difference is the ability to do things faster better in a more advanced way so if any of you is just getting started with video editing it's better to get started with a more advanced software like premiere pro instead of learning a low end software first and then iterating towards a better software it obviously takes more time in the beginning to learn but it will save you a hell lot of time in the long run coming back to editing videos my editing workflow starts even before i open premiere pro this is the most important part of making a video and unless and until it is a vlog like the previous video i shoot to edit which means i pre plan each and every shot while i script the video look at this this is where i have my voice over and the a roll and this is where i have what my b roll and a roll video should look like and this is where i have what type of editing should i be doing so the motive of having the short list and the editing techniques listed is to get the sense of direction while i shoot or edit the video either if i fail to achieve the perfect lighting while shooting the video or if i can get more creative while editing the video i can obviously add those changes in the final edit As I've already mentioned, most of the times I shoot to edit. Planning the camera movements beforehand allows me to get the smooth transitions in the B-rolls like And how to shoot a cinematic sequence is a video for some other day, but for now just remember that the camera movements influence the edits a lot more than what you assume. And now let's get to the most important part that you have been waiting for. But wait, finally I can proudly say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Damn! I never thought this would happen so early, but thank you so much, everyone. <sighs> never seen any YouTuber under 50k getting sponsored by Skillshare. But anyways, if you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Be it editing, filmmaking, photography, animating, drawing, or cooking, you can learn everything on Skillshare. Even recently, when I bought the camera, I took this class, Learn Camera Basics for Videos, a beginner's guide by Adi Singh. to learn how to use a camera and then i took the class on how to shoot dope low budget films by julian klepper to get that cinematic vibe in my recent videos and do you know what there are no ads so you can stay focused and start learning without any distractions and bro if you are starting a youtube channel don't skip this class by mkbhd cause damn i've learned a lot from that class interesting but how much does it cost though? dude if you are taking the annual subscription it costs less than 2000 rupees oh, which what? comes around 166 rupees per month and you'll have the access to all the classes on the platform for the entire year oh bhai that means it costs less than a biryani for the entire month and wow. i'll have no limit to the number of classes that i can take exactly and by the way you can check it out by taking the free trial for the first one month the first thousand of my viewers to click the link in the description will get one month skill share for free so what are you waiting for There are a lot of types of videos. Regular talking head videos, interview videos, epic cinematic B-rolls, montage videos, stop motion animations, 2D animations. And the list goes on. All the editing each of these videos is entirely different from each other. I'll try to generalize a few things which remain constant no matter what type of video you'll be making. Let's go. I know that I don't need to talk about visuals much, but I thought it would be helpful to mention a few sources where you can get stock videos. to enhance the videos that you have already shot i use websites like pixels pixabay videvo.net videvo or videvo i don't know i'll just mention it here to get the stock footage and i use them in almost all my videos now i got the subscription for story blocks so i use that one mostly but if you want to get started with zero budget just go for these websites instead of explaining how important the background music is let me just show you watch this video with music one i wish i was on the campus right now 
Now watch the same video with music too. You got the difference, right? And there's nothing like correct background music or wrong background music. It's all about personal preference and how you want your audience to feel while they're watching your video. Talking about the resources, I use free NCS available on YouTube, SoundCloud, and some paid websites like Storyblocks. I recently started using Epidemic Sounds based on a recommendation from one of my friends. I still need to explore it a lot. I'll let you know how it goes. Also, NCS has their own website where you can search for songs based on moods and type, and it's completely free to use. So check it out. This is my favorite part of video editing. Although dialogue and music are also a part of sound design, I split these parts up so that it will be easier to explain. I love sound design so much and some people in the comments always be like, you overdo it. But it's fine, at the end of the day, it's just a personal preference. From atmospheric sounds, camera movement whooshes, swooshes, cinematic rises, cinematic hits, to sounds that are nowhere related to the scene. You can get as creative as you want while you sound design. I link the folder of my basic sound design pack and if you want, you are free to download it. Also, you can download the sound effects from websites like... I'll link them in the description. Check them out. And nowadays, I use Storyblocks even to get the sound effects because I already got the subscription. You know what separates an amateur video from a professional video? Well, I think it's a color grading. Even I'm really bad at it, but I'm trying my best to improve it. There's a YouTuber called who I think is the god of color grading. So check him out. Well, there are a lot of things that I could be talking in this video, but putting everything that I've learned over past one and a half year in one single video feels impossible. And there are a lot of things that you could be doing once you open Premiere Pro. You can make hyperlapses like Iliot Choi. You can make awesome B-rolls like Daniel Schiffer. You can make stop motion animations like Ryan NG, or you can even make great transition videos like Cold. But remember, if the story that you're telling sucks, the entire video sucks no matter how good your video editing is. After spending hundreds of hours editing videos, now I can confidently say that editing is just one of the several factors which contribute to make a great video. You can definitely make a good video with minimal editing skills. Then why to edit like a pro you ask? Well, cause why settle for good when you can go for the best? Think about it. When you watch your own video at 3am in the morning sitting alone in your room, wouldn't you wanna feel like, wow, Kya video tha and like most of the things in life, the more you edit the videos, the more you learn and the better you'll get at it. So for anyone who wants to get started with editing, stop overthinking, just get started and go wherever your creativity takes you. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye. And look at this. This is a new mic which I got. I've never really used it in a video before. This is the first time that I'm using it just to check the audio. Tell me how it is sounding. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.